Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of Mrs. E, Tea of the Dead. This is a, a film that was directed and produced and actually acted in by uh, a guy named Josh Clark, who you might know as Ashes the Raven, New Corn, Della Winters, Manga Gothic the Movie, Obsessed or What. He's got a lot of names because he's run a lot of cons, but here's my review of his latest work. Um, yeah, it sucks. Uh, and it, it, it sucks so bad that really, I'm only making this review of his, his work so that everyone will click on the link below and see how much it sucks. I'm actually giving him some some publicity just because it's so awful. Um, it's train wreck awful. People really need to see how awful this shit is. Um, yeah, and the most awful part in it, I would have to say, would be uh, the acting of Josh Clark. Um, the rest of the acting sucked too, but uh, his acting in particular, um, he tried to pretend like he was a zombie um, by walking like he has a stick up his ass and putting his hair in his face. Like, that just makes you look like a zombie because you have hair in your face. Uh, like uh, an albino Ethiopian version of Slash. Uh, really, it, di it didn't work at all. You didn't look scary. Um, really, I, I, there's not much you can say about it. It's like a live-action version of Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons. It's it's not scary, it's it's pathetic. Um, yeah, and as far as the leading lady, Amy Newsom, um, I don't know her personally, but uh, when I say that she needs to lose 10 pounds, um, I don't mean from her body. I actually find her very attractive. I think she needs to kick that bum Josh Clark to the curb and get him out of her life as quickly as possible before he ruins it. Um, so, yeah. That's, that's pretty much my review of the crap that is Mrs. E. T. of the Dead. Um, just another con, long con, by uh, Josh Clark so that he can uh, milk some people of a little money and a little bit of uh, emotional caressing because he's one of those psychic vampire narcissists. Um... But on to something else that I would like to review as well. This is from the Obsessed or What blog. Uh, this is from a posting called Rules of Engagement on January 3rd. There's a uh, video in there embedded, and it's really just an audio file. But uh, it's Josh Clark cherry-picking from something where, you know, Exiled was saying that she just wanted just one person to to uh, stand up and verify that she even knew, you know, that they even knew Della, you know, one person to verify. And, uh, of course, he cherry-picks and, and says, Aha! Now I only have to find one person who... No, I don't even have to have, have evidence. All I, all I have to do is have one person lie for me. And this is awesome. So months after everyone says, Put up or shut up, and he's had to... Uh, whine and cry and, and he didn't shut up he just kind of kept on whining and crying and and keeps on getting pwned on the internet by the likes of mad shangy for god's sake you know who's who's just all he has to do is say hey where's your you know invisible girlfriend you know over and over and over again i mean <laughs> it never gets old though but months after it would have been appropriate for any little smidgen of evidence for Della Winters to have existed. He comes up with somebody who's willing to vouch vaguely, very vaguely, for the existence of, of Della Winters. And see, it's a really horribly written script. It's very choppy. It sounds like Charles Manson trying to pull teeth to get the answers that he wants out of one of his followers. Um, and really, I don't even think that this uh, girl knows exactly what she was saying by the answers that she was giving. 
Um, you know, questions like, oh, well, you know about the whole Della Winters thing, and you've seen all of the videos. I, I really don't think she has, because, uh, yeah, she wouldn't have anything to do with Josh Clark had she watched all of them. Uh, definitely nothing from any video of mine was ever addressed. But, uh, really, it, it sounds like Josh Clark has been able to uh, weasel... Uh, into the life and probably the vagina of this girl that he's uh, getting to lie for him. And really, it's just too late. Too fucking late. Um, months after it would have been appropriate, you get one person to lie for you. And, and you think that because one person on a blog, one place, you know, says you you can't even find one person that finding that one person and cherry picking that and, and and calling that the rules of engagement that's going to win you some points on the internet you win no internets no josh clark you are pathetic uh links in the description box to everything that i've talked about i really do want you to check it out um hope you enjoyed my review